Hello. Having this old uh, CRT monitor around, I was really curious on how easy it is to control and how it works. Uh, ultimately, it would be really interesting to hijack the uh, actual controlling circuit of the tube so that we can use it as a vector display. But for now, uh, I was also interested in this uh, VGA connector and uh, how much we can do uh, using this uh, analog uh, input. Uh, and for that purpose, I created this uh, prototype around uh, the Arduino board that I had laying around. Uh, and because the Arduino itself is quite limited, what comes to the uh, uh, VGA displays, we all, we've only connected two out of three colors. We only have green and red at the moment. And if, if you mix them, you get the yellow. And, and if you don't uh, use any colors, then you get the black. But the resolution is still quite compromised. Uh, but that's enough for the uh, prototype purposes. We can already me measure the horizontal and uh, uh, vertical uh, synchronization signals. And, and we can test the graphics. Today, uh, what we can do is fir first we can uh, see how this uh, thing works and, and then, then we can move on to the uh, analog inputs on, uh, to see how you can actually render things on, on this display. So let's have a look. Now that we have this really old display, I wanted to test something from the past. I was roughly 10 years old. Uh, we didn't have our own computer at that stage. But my father borrowed one from his work and we had that computer over a couple of weekends or so. Uh, one of his colleagues had created somewhat similar program that draw a simple uh, line art house like this. It was also green uh, to the screen. And when I saw the program, I got really excited. I, I wanted to uh, understand how, how this machine worked and can I draw my own uh, pictures like this. Uh, there was a basic interpreter installed uh, in the machine and I started to practice programming on that. I got really excited and eventually that turned out to become my lifetime career. So let this be a tribute to this uh, old colleague of my father, whoever created a simple program that eventually changed my life. Now I have connected uh, this, uh, these analog input ports. We have two inputs there uh, to this uh, function generator. So the uh, first channel is associated with this uh, horizontal axis of the display and the second one and takes care of the vertical axis. And then uh, in the Arduino we have a small buffer uh, for the past 80 measurements so that we get this tail. The frequency of this uh, uh, demonstration is really low. At the moment, these sine waves of both channels are roughly one hertz. Uh, we have exactly one hertz for the uh, horizontal axis, and then the second one is a bit higher, so that they are slightly uh, off phase, uh, uh, and we get some variation in here. But in general, uh, this is probably good enough for the uh, prototype example, but if, if you would really control the cathode ray tube directly, then, then you would get much higher frequencies and, and then you don't need these buffering things or anything like that. You can get, get the refreshing yourself. But uh, uh, for now, uh, we can, for example, increase the frequency of the horizontal channel and we get different kind of uh, visualizations. We can change the uh, waveforms. Let's see if we use a ramp wave and we can do the same for the other channel. So now we have those, those ramp waves on both channels and yeah, you, you, you can uh, uh, change the um, uh, voltage of both channels independently and, and you can see the response on, on the display.
yeah, I, I, I think that was the prototype demonstration for today and let's see what we get in the, in the future. I'm also happy to show the uh, original computer that was uh, using this display. That, that's an old uh, Intel computer, which is roughly 30 years old now. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.